Hey ladies, hey, it's Nisha. Um, I'm doing a little bit more videoing, uh, talking to you on this little black dress challenge because I want to make sure that you understand what I'm saying and there's no miscommunication in um, typing sometimes as we sometimes do. I want to talk to you for about five minutes really quick on this check-in week on uh, positivity versus negativity cortisol levels, stress, and 17 seconds, okay? So, real quick, what I told the last Little Black truck Dress Challenge, which I haven't gone on with you yet, is about a book that I read, which was very, very critical in me trying to get my energy in check and how I handle positivity and negativity. Um, sometimes when you do with certain personalities, um, whether it be something or someone in your life or certain issues, you have to be the master of your own energy. You have to. Otherwise, you spin out of control, which I've found myself doing in years past. I um, am very passionate about what I say, so I like to make sure that uh, I keep that energy in check and, it's, and it stays good. Um, what I have found upon my reading is that the more that you put negative energy into something, the more it will grow. So this reading that I um, came up with, and I will find the name of the book so that you can read it in it too, is that if you give something 17 seconds of energy, you can focus on it, you can put your energy into it, and it can be done. If you give it more than 17 seconds, then it spins off into other things. So if I give you an example, um, I'm mad about my son not taking out the trash yesterday. It was Monday. He again for the third time did not remember to take out the trash. If I stay in that zone, now I'm mad at this. He didn't clean up his room either. He didn't clean up the dishes last night. He didn't do what I told him to do. Like now it spins and it becomes something and you be start sandbagging a bunch of other things. So you have to focus on giving something 17 seconds of energy, negative energy, so that you can let that go and move back into your positive space. Now what I want to remind you about with this check-in is I've seen this time and time and time again. People get super, super stressed during check-in week. Stress and cortisol levels go together. Now let me explain. Homeostasis in your body is what keeps your body even killed, all on the same level. And there are three parts of um, homeostasis, which are the receptor, um, the effector, and the control center. And they all work together, okay? It starts at the receptor, and it goes to the control center, and it comes back around to the, effect, to the effector. When those things are not along the same plane, then homeostasis is thrown off balance and you get a charge in your cortisol levels. Anything that affects the cortisol levels is going to make your body react negatively. That's what we don't want. I've seen it time and time and time again with these cortisol levels. You have watched me probably stand up in front of a boot camp class or a training session and people get mad and my stomach started off flat and it starts to puff right here at the bottom. I have a very, very sensitive stomach. And the more stress I get, the worse my headache gets. And the most worse the bloatness gets into my stomach. I will literally gain weight and bloat out on the spot because of cortisol levels. Now, with the cortisol level, amino acids, glucose, and um, free fatty acids are all playing for our free radicals that are going on when the cortisol levels are thrown off. That means that when you're stressed out, oh my God, I'm not going to make my weight this week. I'm going to get kicked out. I'm not going to make the inches. I'm not going to make the body fat. I'm doing everything I can and nothing is working. Oh my God. There you go. Now your body is effed for lack of a better word. Effed and you know what I mean by effed because now you can't understand why you got this bloat going. Now you can't understand why your body is holding water. Now you can't understand why you got this migraine that's going that will not. But the worst part is this bloat. Cortisol affects your abs. It affects your stomach. It causes inflammation. Free fatty 
acids. You do not want that. You do not want your glucose levels to spike. And you do not want your amino acids thrown off because you are stressing about not meeting a goal. All you got to do is coast in. Do everything that you're supposed to do this week. Drink your water. Run. Do your cardio. Don't cheat on your meal plan. Attend all your classes. Attend your boot camps. Give your all. Don't stop when it gets when it gets hectic. And at the end of the day, if you don't meet it, don't stress out your body. It is what it is. If you do the right thing, good things will happen. If you do the wrong thing, there's nothing to stress off of. You ain't going to make it. You didn't do what you were supposed to do and you can't cheat the system. Okay, so 17 seconds. Do not let your cortisol levels beat you and be the master of your own energy. Have a blessed day, ladies.